What's going on everyone? This is Dom and huge shout out to Samsung for sponsoring this video and allow me to introduce you to Terma. I actually built this at the request and with the help of a longtime subscriber, Alex, who is out here in Phoenix as well. And this thing is an absolute monster packing the Intel i9 10900K, 64 gigabytes of RAM, an RTX 3080, and most importantly, the Samsung 980 Pro NVMe, which can deliver sequential read and write speeds of up to 7,000 megabytes per second and 5,000 megabytes per second respectively, but more on that in a little bit. Now, along with that, we also do have two two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo NVMe drives, and the case that we're using here is the Lian Li 011 Dynamic, which looks absolutely stunning in my opinion. On the inside, we have the ASUS ROG Maximus Formula 12, which can easily give us some options for liquid cooling down the road. And along with that, we have the ASUS Thor 850 PSU powering everything. As mentioned, we do have the Intel i9-10900K processor, and that's being cooled by Corsair's new Elite Capellix AIO, which looks super clean and keeps everything running super cool. Along with that, we have 64 gigabytes of Dominator Platinum RAM, and needless to say, this PC is is a beast and will pretty much handle whatever you throw at it. As for storage, like I mentioned, we have the Samsung 980 Pro NVMe, which is an absolute monster of a storage option. So it packs PCIe 4.0, which offers double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0, and it's optimal for processing huge amounts of data, but is great for anyone working with 4K or 8K content, all the way to PC games or any other kind of multimedia. Of course, it has a compact M.2 2280 form factor, and it gives users maximum motherboard design flexibility. The great thing about Samsung's new 980 Pro is that while it offers blazing fast speeds on the latest and greatest processors from AMD, it's fully backwards compatible with PCIe 3.0 and Intel's upcoming Rocket Lake processors, which will be a drop-in solution for PCIe 4.0 in the near future. Meanwhile, Intel users can still fully benefit from several other thermal and reliability enhancements the 980 Pro has to offer. Samsung is the king at NVMe storage, at least in my opinion, and if you'd like to check out more of what the 980 Pro has to offer, definitely be sure to click the link down in the description below. As far as the design goes here, Alex kind of gave me freedom to do whatever I wanted to, and uh, bonus points for you if you know where Terma comes from. You get an internet cookie if you do that, but I, I just think everything looks clean here. I like the uh, kind of light purple and teal going on, and all of the fans here just look cool. Sure, maybe they're not all necessary, but they definitely look awesome. And as far as the desk setup that we're using here goes, I mean, this is the YouTuber special, guys. We have an Alex drawer set and a kitchen countertop from Ikea. I'm sure many of you had already guessed that by now. So obviously with a beastly machine like this, I'm sure you're wondering about performance. And of course, it does not disappoint. I mean, when it comes to the Time Spy benchmark here, we have a score of 15,880. Moving along to Cinebench, we actually have a multi-core score of 13,958 and a single core score of 13,004. Now it's silly to think that an RTX 3080 and a 10900K can't game. I mean, obviously, and it's almost not even worth getting into crazy benchmarks here. I mean, I played a bit of Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p and 240Hz on the highest setting. The combination here absolutely crushed things, delivering nearly 200 frames per second most of the time. And again, I feel like I don't really need to tell you how epic this hardware is here. It's all top of the line stuff. Overall, the build is super clean. I mean, all the RGB lighting here really adds to it, and I love this case design. It's sleek, it has plenty of room for everything inside, and leaves expansion capabilities for water cooling down the road. But let me know what you think about everything in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave it a thumbs up, and click that link down below to check out Samsung's 980 Pro NVMe, because duh, it's amazing. But be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and hit the notification bell for all alerts from my channel. So with all of that said, I will leave you with some sweet, sweet B-roll of this beautiful machine that we have here. 